Dry land areas of western Nebraska, high commodity prices are driving farmers to plant a record number of corn acres. One technique they can use to maximize soil water is skip row planting. UNL Extension Dry Land Crop Specialist Drew Lyon explains the process and recent research across the state. The theory behind skip row uh, planting is um, to try and save some of the water in between the wide rows that the plants can't access till later in the year. So if you were growing a crop where you could make it all on uh, precipitation during the growing season, you'd want to plant your plants evenly spaced and they'd access that water quickly and efficiently. But where you're trying to save some water for later in the season during the critical flowering and grain fill period, you create these wider rows. So the theory is save the, save the water in between the rows. The roots have to grow to that water and it, they don't make it there till later in the season and therefore they have some water to access from the soil later in the season and you don't have to rely so much on rainfall. And obviously this year skip row planting could be useful because of the drought conditions and drought concerns that we're seeing across the state. So the research that you recently did, why did you do it and what did it show? Well we did it because we'd seen uh, the Australians working on it and we decided to see how it worked here and so we we did 23 sites over three years. We started uh, as far east as Mead in Nebraska and came all the way out to Scotts Bluff and had places in between as well as in uh, northwest Kansas and northeast Colorado. And uh, what we found is that at the higher yield levels, skip row actually hurts your yield, but at the lower yield levels, it actually helps. And so what it does is it, it reduces the variance or the amount of variability in your yield. You get rid of the lower yields, you also get rid of the higher yields. So if you're in a higher yielding area, say an area that historically produces 100 bushels or more, skip row planting probably is not what you want to do. But if you're out west, say west of Hayes Center uh, or North Platte, then, uh, then it starts to become a viable option for dry land growers to use skip row to kind of minimize the number of times they'll have the really low yields uh, that are possible out here. Are there variables in that as well, Drew, as in terms of skipping, planning, skipping, planning, or two row skipped, one row plan, or vice versa, and the population rates? Yes, we, we tried several different things. We did um, plant one, skip one, which is basically a 60 inch row. We did plant two, skip two. We also did a plant two, skip one, and then we had the standard planting of 30 inch rows. We also did three populations at the different areas. Out west, we used 10, 15, and 20,000. And back east, we used uh, 15, 20, and 25,000. So in a, in a year like this, again, where there are drought concerns, is it going to be profitable? Would you recommend skip row planting west of a certain point on dry land? I think, again, if you have some knowledge of what your corn potential is and you're in the less than 100 bushel range, especially if you're under less than 75 bushels, I would recommend it. It does drive or is dependent on good stored soil water. So you want to make sure you have some stored water because that's you're hoping to use that in the skip row pattern. And you'd also like to have some good uh, crop residue there. Corn likes to grow in heavy crop residue. So if you have good soil water and you have good crop residue and you're west of about 101 Meridian or about Hayes Center, Nebraska, it's something you should consider. Lyon says high corn prices could push dryland corn acres in the panhandle past 100,000 for the first time in history.